Welcome to our lecture online and here's a straightforward example of how we apply the equation that we found in the previous example on something like this. So assume that you have two parallel wires, one that carries a current upward, the other one that carries a current downward. Assuming the wires are infinitely long relative to the distance away from the wire, what is the magnetic field at this location 30 centimeters to the right of the second wire if the two wires are 20 centimeters apart and the current upward in the first wire is 5 amps and the current coming down in the second wire is 10 amps. So how do you go about doing that? Well what we're going to find here is that the magnetic field here is going to be a vector sum of the magnetic field caused by the first wire and the magnetic field caused by the second wire. So let's first find the direction of the magnetic field caused by each wire at that location. And I'm looking for my red pen here. Here it is. So using the right hand rule if the current goes up in the first wire, I use my thumb to represent the current going up, then my fingers curl in the direction of the magnetic field, so to the right, the magnetic field will be into the board due to the first wire. So I can say into the board right here, and that would be due to B1, meaning the magnetic field caused by wire 1. Looking at the second wire, I can see that the current goes down, I use my thumb in the direction of the current, my fingers curl around in the direction of the magnetic field, so to the right of this wire, the magnetic field will come out of the board, and let me use a different color here to indicate that. So here we have the magnetic field coming out of the board due to the second wire, so I'll call that B2. Now, if the magnitude of B2 is larger than the magnitude of B1, then of course the net magnetic field will, will be out of the board. If the magnitude of B1 is larger than the magnitude of B2, then the net magnetic field will be into the board. So let's find the magnitude of each of the magnetic fields to figure out what the net magnetic field will be. So the next step is to find the magnitude of each uh, wire. So B1 is equal to, we're looking for the magnitude of B1, and the equation is um, mu sub naught divided by 2 pi times the strength of the current divided by the distance away from the wire. Now, this point right here is this far away from wire number one. We call this distance R1, and that's going to be 20 centimeters plus 30 centimeters, or 50 centimeters. So plugging in the units, this is equal to 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7 tesla meters per amps. Multiply times the current, the current is 5 amps, and we divide that by 2 pi times R1, and R1 is 0 0.5 meters. All right, using my calculator and simplifying things a little bit, uh, the 2 pi and the 4 pi cancel like so, and then of course amps and amps cancel, and meters and meters cancel, so you end up with Teslas, so we have uh, 2 e to the 7 minus times 5 divided by 0.5 equals, and it's 2 times 10 to the minus 6. So this is equal to 2 times 10 to the minus 6 Teslas. Now doing the same for the second wire, the, magn the magnitude of the magnetic field caused by the second wire is mu sub naught i2 divided by 2 pi times r2. So again, this is 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7 teslas meters per amps. Multiply that times the current in the second wire, which is 10 amps. And dividing that by 2 pi times R2. And R2 is the distance from the second wire to the point of interest, which is 30 centimeters, which is 0 0.3 meters. And again, amps cancels out amps, meters cancels out meters, and you get the following, and of course, this cancels out with that, that becomes 2. So we get 2 e to the 7 minus times 10 divided by 0.3 equals, and it's 6.67 times 10 to the minus 6. 6 times, or 6.67, 6 6.67 times 10 to the minus 6 Teslas. Now notice the magnitude of the magnetic field caused by the second wire is much larger than the magnitude of the magnetic field caused by the first wire. So the net magnetic field direction will be in the same direction as the larger portion of the magnetic field. And so we can now say that the total 
B2 or B total is simply equal to the sum of B1 plus B2. Now notice that B1 is into the board, let's call that negative. B2 is out of the board, let's call that positive. So this is equal to B1 into the board, that would be a minus 2 times 10 to the minus 6 Teslas. Let's call that the Z direction, right? If this is Y and this is X, so call that the Z direction. So in the negative Z direction, plus 6.67 times 10 to the minus 6 Teslas. And let's call that in the positive Z direction. So the sum of those two would be 4.67 times 10 to the minus 6 Teslas in the Z direction. And that would be the result of adding those two vector quantities together. All right, again, recapping real quickly. We had two wires side by side, one carrying a current up, the other one carrying a current down. Each one of these wires will contribute some magnetic field uh, at that location. First, finding the direction of each, we notice that if the current goes up, the magnetic field will be into the board to the right. If the current comes down, the magnetic field will be out of the board to the right of that wire. Then you find the magnitude of the contribution of each of the magnetic field from the two wires. You add them together, realizing that one is into the board, we'll call that negative. The one is out of the board, we'll call that positive. When you add them together, you get the total magnetic field right there. All right, and that's how you do a problem like that.